YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Sly Hunch, and I'm back with another this video. Life. So today, I'm gonna show y'all how to do a hairline. All right, it's gonna be quick and easy. All right, first, so I like to comb out the hair. Then I like to cut it down with a one and three fourths. I cut his hair down with a one and three fourths because I cut it down with a two open. And if I cut it down any lower, his hair is gonna start to show thin spots. So I wanna make sure the hairline is nice and full and not cut down too low. Then I use my Gillette shaving cream. I apply it to his hairline. Then I'm gonna add a hot towel. So I'll leave the hot towel on for about 30 seconds and then I'll wipe it off. So I'm gonna use two different hairsprays. I'm gonna use the level three hairspray first. I spray it over the hairline and the neckline and I blow dry it. While I'm blow drying it, I make sure I brush the hairline down so it stays. And I'm gonna use my detailers for this hairline. Then I'm just lining it up. So on this side of the hairline, I might have to go in a little bit just to match the other side, but it's not gonna be in too far. Just trying to get everything symmetrical. Then I start in the middle of the hairline lightly tapping and I work my way to the left side of his hairline. I'm trying to keep his hairline as natural as possible. When I'm lining somebody up, I pay attention to their forehead. His forehead sticks out more, so his hairline is gonna be rounded. So you wanna tilt his head down a little bit so you can make sure the line is straight, but it's still gonna have a round appearance if he lifts his head up. But I'm lightly tapping using my corners. I don't want you really use the whole blade. And I wanna make sure I'm staying on the outside of the hairline. You're gonna have to kind of play with it just to make sure it's straight. It's okay if you don't get the hairline on the first try, just keep playing with it, but try to refrain from pushing them back. And you see on this side, I'm trying to stay out as possible to try and keep them as natural as possible, leaving as much hair as possible for them. Then you want to look in the mirror, make sure his hairline is straight. And then I'm going to razor it for y'all, just so y'all can see before I apply the enhancements. But I usually lean my clients back when I'm razoring them, but I use this angle just so y'all can see me raising them better. So y'all can really just see the symmetry, I should say. Then I apply my waterproof enhancements. It's by Tomb 45 with my air compressor. So I'm using the dark brown. I don't wanna use black because it might be too dark for his hair. So I'm trying to really blend it in with his hair, make it look as natural as possible while it's still enhanced. Trying to give him that pop. And you wanna make sure you spraying the car, bouncing the enhancements off the car, not spraying the hairline all the way. But you can always fill in light spots with the enhancements. And then I use my topics just to add texture. I'm using black. And then for this, I like to use Goss to be glue to finish off with the hairspray. I feel like Goss to be glue is a stronger hold than the level three. Now I'm gonna make sure I'm blow drying the hair. And I use my pencil to add that extra flare, that contour line. It's gonna make the hairline pop even more and it's gonna be crispy. Touch. I'm just lightly drawing across his hairline using the tip of the pencil. Not too hard. And then I brush it in first just to blend it in some more and I go over it with my clippers. Getting that C right. 
So if you're having troubles with that corner, you could angle your clippers diagonally and it'll help hit the corner better, making it sharp. And then I hit the neckline with enhancements. This isn't necessary, but you can always do it. And you can always brush in the enhancements just to blend it in better. Then I add the pencil to the neckline, make the neckline pop too. Going around that area is very crucial. It's a little detail that'll make your hairlines pop more. It just adds that little extra flair, that extra detail that people pay attention to. Now I want to razor them, make sure I pull the skin. So when using a straight razor, you want to glide that blade at a 45 degree angle on the hairline. Make sure you're not digging in because you will cut them if you do. And make sure you're just being light handed. You know what I'm saying? So when you're razoring, you might get holding spray on it. You want to brush that off and then continue to razor again. It's going to make the hairline look way better if there's no crust on the hairline. You see how sharp it's looking? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, you see it. That boy is sliced. Here you go the final results. Crispy hairline, very symmetrical. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. I'm gonna be dropping videos for y'all every week, every day. 